Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a couple of months now since Samsung released their S-series flagship for 2021. And Samsung is living up to their name with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It currently has the best camera setup compared to any smartphone currently on the market to date. In this video, I will be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I want to see how far off the iPhone flagship of 2019 is compared to the Samsung S flagship of 2021, two years later. So the S21 Ultra has a total of 5 cameras, a front facing camera at 40 megapixels and shoots 4K of up to 60 frames per second, a 108 rear facing wide angle camera, a 10 megapixel periscope telephoto camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So yes, from these specs we can already see that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a camera monster. There are quite a few differences on paper with both devices though, like the sensors being used, and also the ability of the S21 Ultra to shoot up to 8K while the iPhone 11 Pro Max is capped at 4K. And the fact that the iPhone 11 Pro Max has 3 cameras on the back and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has 4 cameras on the back. The S21 Ultra is boasting a 108 megapixel rear sensor. Now in this comparison, I will be demonstrating video tests from both devices to test the video quality from the rear cameras, the stabilization from the rear cameras, the video quality from the front facing cameras at 4K 60 frames per second and also the stabilization of the front cameras at 4K 60 frames per second. For the photographic comparison, I will be focusing on the front cameras, portrait mode from the front cameras, portrait mode from the rear cameras, telephoto comparisons, wide angle comparisons and ultra wide angle comparisons. So let's dive right into these comparisons. So yes, it doesn't take rocket science to see that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a leap ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We can see that the S21 Ultra is handling the highlights way better than that of the iPhone. Also, it is keeping the shadows more realistic than that which is shown on the iPhone. If you can look closely, you can also see that the details on the S21 Ultra is very defined and look way more pleasing and appealing to the eye than that of the 11 Pro Max. Alright guys, so this is a video of the rear camera stabilization. Um, both of them full quality. I'm going to start running now. Alright guys, so this video will be testing the stabilization of the front facing camera. Alright, I'm gonna start running now. So yeah, you guys will see the stabilization in the video. This is me running at a pretty decent speed. Alright guys, so this is a quick um, front camera comparison of the video on both devices. So you guys can tell me what you think of the quality, which is better, or if you're a fanboy of whatever device, you can go ahead and root for your brand. And due to the fact that the Samsung has such a big sensor, it will do a much better job with getting more light into the camera. And also the high megapixel, as I mentioned before, will equal to more detail and resolution in the photos. Also, Apple was once the king of portrait mode and they started the portrait mode, Samsung followed sadly, but Samsung has taken the game of the portrait mode photography. They are producing crisp and almost DSLR-like portrait shots. Now in the photography section, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 
ultra wide angle camera will have a lot of details in the shots because it has 108 megapixel which means it has a high resolution which will in return equal to more details in the pictures also samsung is doing a way better job with the image processing and the sensor is way bigger than that of the iphone 11 pro max i'm not going to bash or slaughter the iphone though it is doing a pretty good job for a 2019 flagship device I'm gonna show you guys a couple photos I took from both devices. So there you have it guys, shots, videos, photos taken on both devices, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I hope you guys found this video informative and also entertaining. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please leave a like and if you're new to the channel, ensure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat. I am King Crisis TV, signing out. You are watching King Crisis TV. Oh, and before I go, please stay tuned for my next video comparing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra against a DSLR camera, the Nikon D3500. So let's see how the Samsung goes up against a camera that is made for photography. Until then, stay tuned. King Crisis TV.